Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex from Fitment Inc. But we're not Inc. anymore, we're Industries. Today, we're gonna to be talking about WEDS. WEDS stands for, I really don't know, but WEDS is actually the most requested wheel that you guys asked in the comments from two weeks ago. We're gonna drop the winner of the valve stems and the banner at the end of the video, but don't miss out. We're gonna talk about WEDS here real quick. WEDS stands for World Ester Distribution Systems. And it was actually founded in October of 1965. And the most interesting thing about WEDS, just jumping right into it, is the fact that they really were never planning on getting into the wheel game when they originally started. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. In 1965, they really were making components and aftermarket distribution sales systems for just Nissan in general. It wasn't until they decided to delve into wheels until around 1969 to around 1973 where they were really getting into aftermarket wheels. In fact, they're coined as one of the original Japanese designers for aftermarket custom wheels with the L-Star design. We'll drop a picture right over here. So if you guys didn't watch last week's Vehicle Spotlight, we talked about Alexis GS300, which is right behind us, and these are the wheels that are actually on his car. But just going into the basics, WEDS has really three lines. They have the WEDS Sport, which is their monoblock forged line. They do also have cast. The Mavericks, which are their two-piece luxury VIP design. And then Kranz, which is their three-piece high-end luxury design. So WEDS Sport really began their market and their lineup in the racing lineage in Japan. And it wasn't until later years did they decide to start requiring Kranz and Maverick names, as well as Leonis and Leon Harderit. Harderit? Harderit? Hard it. Wes was also classified as the first Japanese forged multi-piece lineup, which came out in 1977, and that was called the Racing Forge line. So Weds has always grown since the conception of their brand, but it wasn't actually into the 2000s that they started to grow into North America and other distribution channels. Weds has always been known as the company that's focused on its original location, which is Japan. They have such a strong sense of pride in that company and what they do in Japan, it's absolutely insane. So Weds and Crayons and Weds Sport, they're not as well known here in the States, but that doesn't mean that they're not a great wheel. So Wedge Sports has monoblock lines, seven of which feature AMP series technology. So AMP is their own flow form tech that they use in-house that allows them to create lightweight wheels. So it's pretty cool to see that they still use this technology. They've always used it. They've been probably about a decade or so ahead of pretty much any other normal corporation using the same tech. But Wedge Sports are an expensive wheel line. If you're looking to pick up a set of even 18 by nines or 18 by tens, you're spending around $2,000. Wedge Sports believes in creating unique designs, not just something that's gonna function as it's supposed to. If you want something that's gonna function perfectly and not have a lot of design, a lot of people tend to look at some of the more basic Rays or Volk lineup. Maverick is their two-piece luxury lineup, and this is where the Sport kind of comes out of it because obviously multi-piece, these ones are gonna get a little bit heavier. They also get more expensive. Their designs, they're pretty good to look at, but Mavericks aren't really well known. They're not as popular as Cran or even Wedge Sports, just simply because their design styles just aren't really taking off in North America. But that's not to say that they're not an insanely popular wheel in Japan. Finally, Kranz is their three-piece lineup, and it is the most expensive lineup out of the three. So they specialize in the luxury VIP sort of look. So this Kranz Borfies was in our vehicle spotlight last week. We're gonna drop 15 seconds right here. Let's f***ing roll it. So rumor has it that their molds had been copied or replicated in China and they are experiencing an insane issue when it came down to imitation wheels on their Wedge Sports line where they actually launched a full campaign to talk about the dangers of imitation wheels. But at the same time, there are a lot of stamps on Wedge Sports, Crans, Maverick that you're able to tell to make sure that it is the right wheel but actually they do 20% stricter regulation testing on their wheels to make sure that you're buying the right product. Of course, for four grand, I would f***ing hope so. So something that we found pretty interesting about their multi-piece lineup is the sort of lack, I guess, of information that they provide in terms of their lip structure and integrity. So getting something like this rebarreled is gonna cost around 120 to 200 bucks, depending on where you're getting them from. But something that we found with BBS and Rays and Volk was their 
focus on making sure the front lip of their wheels were not going to bend or break. It doesn't seem like we found much information for Kranz or any sort of their multi-piece lineup that had that information. So the guy that owns this wheel is actually on barrel number three. And you have to remember that's $200 per wheel. You're paying to play the game when it comes to these multi-piece wheels and Kranz is absolutely not shy for making you pay for what you're getting. And you're gonna see a lot of people that do run these are running the stance game. They are in that culture. So technically a lot of people have gotten some hate for running these wide wheels because they're not used for their intended purpose. So we actually do carry Kranz, Wedge Sports, Mavericks, and Leons if it's something that you're interested in. You can drop a message below and we'll shoot you an email. But this is the wheel history on the Weds Kranz Maverick. We hope you guys enjoy. If you have these wheels, or if you have a car that has these wheels on them, drop them in our gallery, www.fitmentindustries.com forward slash ad. If you are the winner, which we're gonna put right here, congratulations, you won some valve stem caps and a banner, shoot us a message. I'm Alex, you watched another episode of Wheel History. We'll see you later, peace.